Let's play Redactyl number 699 on Tuesday, March 5th. Difficulty is uh, medium, just a little below medium. Eight-letter words. Eight-letter word, I should say. And then, usually we see U.S. and U.K. pronunciation, but maybe this is the U.K. spelling is a four, six used five by nine of eight, eight, to eight, six, nine, six by past seven, five that has been nine. Um, so I'm wondering if it is a word but then what is the six letter used by something to describe something, something by past? By past what? And then five, that has been something in something something the word has been used to refer to 7-7 seven seven. the word 8 is no longer used in 9-5 or 10 by the 5-6-12s oh um what is that reference guide that uh, psychiatrists use? Yeah, so I think it's going to be some mental condition, mental health term, but maybe it's, yeah, um, deprecated, shall we say, or no longer. What is it? Is a use something by blank of oh maybe like psychiatric medicine by oh maybe by past traumas maybe maybe um but what is that uh, uh it's something like <laughs> it's not dpi that's dots per inch. Um, oh, I can't think of it. Uh, are the, uh, this might be the American Psychiatric Associations 10 and 11, 6 of 6, 9, referring to the something, something, the word is no longer used. Oh, this might be the derivation from nine, which refers to a type of five with something. The word 11 is, is something, oh, is also no longer used. However, it is a something for something History, A59. Uh, used into the something century. Ooh, here we have something in French. That's quite a long title. 1113 de la Seven de la apostrophe um something something uh something a la something all right let's scroll through looking for some clues as to what this might be and it's funny if it has a UK spelling, but it's the same number of letters. So, oh, I bet it's the uh, Z S thing, maybe. 
Um, it's not going to be adding a U in Britain because it's the same length. Here's again, looks like something French. Yeah, oh, yeah, this past, past something. I am going to go with trauma just to see. Yes, 36 traumas. Yeah, I wonder if maybe it's um, something to do with shell shock, which was the old term. There was another old term they used centuries ago for those who had survived battle. Um, of course, we would say PTSD today. The six eight and something by something. Ooh, and something into hmm. Let's see, nine and seven no oh, translated in English as the oh I think that might be the ego and the id. Yes. Uh, is that Freud? No, it doesn't seem to be. So we're definitely in the area of mental health. And some term that is no longer used by professionals, perhaps. 10 and the 8, 8. Ooh, what says the 3 1, 4? Oh, the 7 of 7. 2 the 5 and within 5 of the something. And I'm going to pause to sneeze. All right, that was quite a sneeze. Um, six and five of eight, an introduction to six, nine, something. As a near synonym for seven. Uh, the word eight came to be used as a near synonym for seven. Uh, the case for eight. Yeah, here we have more trauma. I probably should look through all my traumas. Um, Fourteen is not an something, 8 and 14 from the 11 of 8, 14 in some year. Um, well, here's somebody with a middle initial, I think. 6, 6, and 6. Ooh, with a something of the 3-3, three three. it's something this because of a something by something. We're just about halfway through this long article. Um, I wonder if we're going to see any popular culture depictions of this, that's usually where I get my way in to the answer. Um, trauma. Well, how could it just simply be a 
form of trauma, traumatic, that's, then why would that have a different UK spelling? The 4 8. It has been seldom used, maybe? The 9 5, the 10 13 of 9 4 is a four or five book. Ooh, the twos, maybe that's the ids again. Is it something to do with the subconscious? Trauma and something. Oh, that medical reference is the diagnostic something or other. I think that's what the D is. And they release a new version every few years, I think. Um, let's see. Eight. Eight, eight of the three and three. The word eight is no longer used in a something sense. It something being blank from the three and four with the something of something so is it just a new word is used or it's no longer maybe considered or it's been re contextualized or maybe new understanding of it the mind is a funny thing. Trauma something. Six is six. In his something, eight and five, six. Five, six must be the author, maybe laid out a something something oh, we're down to the C also already all right let me go back up um, I suppose I'll try traumatic just since it is oh it's a nine letter word well there we go so I don't know why I miscounted that does occur 28 times. Is that a UK spelling? Oh, it's not. How about US? No. So what is the two letter? Huh. Okay. Well, at least I need to, I can stop thinking about a British spelling. Is a word? No. Is a uh, term? Is a term blank used blank by something something oh I do want to do traumas plural no no it's not past traumas something that has been diagnosed no. Um, well, let me try diagnostic. Uh, so maybe this is the one that has a three letter abbreviation beginning with D. Um, let's do psychiatry. Only four. Hmm. Okay. Um, used to refer to seven seven. It's no longer used in something five or ten. 
by the five, six, twelves are the American. What's the five, six? The world health. Ah, yes. Um, is a term six used five? by that's almost like there's two adverbs either sized of used eight is oh maybe differentiated from nine which refers to a form of or is it a mania with seven, ooh, it's um, not replacement term. No, it's uh, something alternative. No, it's something term 11 refers to a 11.5 of being, or maybe a sense of being, no. Term eight was was it rarely you know was um, was blank by eight something to refer to blank of sense and maybe reason no sense and sensibility. The term is derived from the, is it Greek? Yeah, word six and the suffix four. Oh, meaning eight. It was uh, first used in print in sixes who was an early person to write about the mind well i don't know six used the term to something that Something uh, yeah, let's look at our manias. Only three of them. This was uh, divided into four four something forms kinds types or something types of, uh, oh, mental, of course, of mental disorder, yes. 11, maybe depression, no, uh, but we do have 28. Uh, mania, oh, I don't know what these would be. What would the suffix be? A four-letter suffix. Um, would it be something like meant? No. Itis? No. Um, well, that's not the depression. Uh, a clinical? No. Traumatic injury? Well, let's see if the brain itself is mentioned uh, just ten times. As seven dash brain. 
Is that really a hyphen or is it a dash for this? Are in something. Uh, let's do the mind of the uh, conscious. Yes, how about the um, un conscious and sub conscious no no sub in a something of unconscious uh, use the term something over the something decades Ooh, clinical, is it a treatise? No. On mental uh, diseases. Yes, let's try disease. Disease and something. Um, have I done health? No. Uh, so the World Health Organization. Uh, the American Health something. By some year, the seven of 12, eight was something by most, by some, by more, by much, by many, <laughs> I never finally got it. Let's do all, none, non, in which he, something, non, something. Uh, let's do Freud. Yeah, this is Freud. Uh, so who is six? I suppose the precursor of Freud. This was divided into four prime, four major, minor. It was used in maybe section something of a section of that, um, yeah, to something to describe something minor something something disorder Ooh, a lot of disorders is no longer used in a blank diagnostic sense it blank been something from the three and some year Well, this is a cheery subject. Um, let's look at our major as a major uh, component. No, oh, major something on the eight nine of something it blank with. A something something has let us, has put us, has something over a something of something. 
No. All right, I think I'm going to use some hints. I don't want to spend too much time on this one today. All right. Well, I don't think I want to click on this. I think that's going to be some alternative version. Is a term blank used blank by Dinoblank to describe mental? Oh, uh, I think six must be caused. Something that has been, let me get this nine letter word, repressed, ah. So caused by past, I suppose experience or by past, mental something caused by past something. What's the five-letter word that has been repressed in six, seven, in something English? No, modern something. Terms mean you used to refer to seven dash seven, ten, more. Frequently, more commonly, more something. Yeah, let me get that five letter word. That's bugging me. Often that is, oh my goodness, so obvious. Although I think that's a sort of odd phrasing. Often that has been repressed. Mm, I, I think that's bad English, uh, or it just doesn't read right to me, but I, I, who am I to say? Um, so what would you call this? Uh, eight, something to do with repression, or let's do repression uh, for... Okay, considering the repression, uh, there's some other word. Um, how about suppression only once? A traumatic event. The event which um, not triggered, which um, something the first. This is in part because four is in eight is often some because this uh, because that, no, because something is in something. Oh, because what is in question, maybe, is often some something which the uh, patient, hmm, because he is 9 6 to remember it, no, um, Recollect it. Aha. He is something unable to, and often has no something of the connection between the something event and the 12 as a blank, as a rule. It is. Um, unhelpful, no, yeah, so it's some word for repressing a 
memory, I think. Or, hmm. No, then the, what is this? It has to have a four letter suffix, which only gives us four letters from the Greek six letter. Mental. Mental suffering. Uh, so let's um, use my final hint. Mental disorders. Ah, so maybe it's an umbrella term. Oh, I wonder if the suffix could be axis. No, I was thinking of things like, oh, Abraxas. <laughs> That's an album, I think. Um, how about YSIS or um, uh, first to a blank of blank with something mental disorders caused by past something often that has been repressed still sounds funny to me. No, I think I'm going to give up on this. I hate to do it, considering I'm going to be taking a break from Redactyl after tomorrow. Um, but maybe that's a sign that it is time to take a break. So I'm going to give up. I'm sure I'll know it. Neurosis. Ah. Oh. All right. Yeah, maybe I should have thought of the osis suffix, but it's a term mainly used by followers of Freudian thinking. Ah, uh, past anxiety. Mm -hmm. Anxiety-related conditions. No longer used in condition names or categories by the WHO. Ah, uh, the DSM, Diagnostic and Statistical Manual. Yes, that's what I was trying to think of. Distinguish from psychosis, a broad condition. Ooh, William Cullen was the first. A Scotsman. And then Philippe Pinel. Breuer was uh, one associated or maybe precursor of Freud. All right. Well... Yeah, it's disappointing. Maybe I could have come up with that, but I think I would have been a long time here before I thought of it. I hope you were able to figure it out. Thanks for watching and have a great day.